week ago the weather card said it's going to be sunny on Saturday and I woke up in the morning today and that's what's going on so it's going to be a hard hike I think let's see what's happening on the mountains Hello, my name is Ivan. I love to do hiking and backpacking. And today, in this film, I would like to show you why it's so important for my friends and me is to do a winter backpacking. It's much more challenging than summer one, but it helps you to open something inside of your soul, something deeper there that will make you fall in love in the winter backpacking. Even you will sweat and cold, and got the experience which you never had it before. The inspiration to winter backpacking came one day. If you tell me that 10 years ago, I would never say yes for this crazy thing. For the last four or five years, we've been doing with my great friend Fabian uh, a lot of hikes and we decided to start challenge ourselves even more. Let them introduce themselves so you know more about them and what do they think as well about the winter backpacking. Uh, hello, my name is Fabian. So I have some experience winter camping. I've been camping with friends uh, for a few years and uh, what I like about winter camping is uh, there's no mosquitoes, there's no rain, and it is beautiful and it can be so quiet. Hi, my name is Bruno. Winter camping for me is a great way to escape from my day-to-day -day life, which at times can be a bit boring or also stressful. The other reason why I like to do winter camping is uh, because it's challenging, it's a bit risky. And so that requires me to get prepared and involved in the process. And then going through the process is, is you feel really alive and then once you finish the process, when you go home, then you have this sense of satisfaction that, uh, and accomplishment that is really pleasing. You enjoy it after, when you tell the story. You say, oh, yeah, we made it and we survived, but we had a miserable time, it was super cold. Uh, cooking was challenging, sleeping was challenging, walking was challenging, the snow was super deep. My first winter-like backpacking experience was actually uh, trying uh, uh, to climb a volcano. So we were up at, uh, at around 5,000 meters. We made it up to 50, yeah, 5,800 meters of altitude down in Chile, and it was super cold. We got snow and we got very miserable because altitude and cold are just very challenging. So. I raise my hat to those alpinists that do it like nothing or but they do it I mean it's, it's challenging for everyone. Uh, the first time I went was with two good friends of mine and they were already pretty experienced with winter camping so they gave me a great tips and I felt safe the whole time I've learned a lot and I had a lot of fun so I was hooked and then I kept coming. So what keeps me going, it is because it's a good opportunity to spend time with friends. It also, it's a great way to know uh, deeply for who they are. I've done it with my daughter and it was an amazing opportunity. She was 10 years old and she pulled it up like a, like a pro. And uh, it was a very nice hike, very challenging, lots of snow. We weren't super well prepared, but still, 
a nice campfire at the end of the day and bye bye cold isn't that poetic that inspires I think winter camping is also a great way to realize what our ancestors went through when they didn't live in that cushy, comfortable life that we have now. And what we are really capable of in terms of adaptation and being resilient and persevering. And they didn't have an opportunity to go get back. They were chasing the battle life. And when you were there in the middle of the nowhere, you kind of can understand a hope they were pursuing, pursuing or chasing. It's a reminder to approach life with hope and positive mindset. Why do I love doing this? It's a good question. And the simple answer on that would be because it makes me happy. But it's more than just feeling happiness. It's a complex feeling that brings understanding and a deep sense of what truly matter in my life. The reason is because when you winter camp, you gotta stay pretty focused on where you put your footstep or where you're going. And also you gotta be aware of how your body temperature is changing, if you're wet or uh, sweaty. Uh, and so that prevent you from being in your head and thinking about those emails or those uh, issues that you can have in your life. Winter backpacking taught me something that I would never be experienced in a normal life. It taught me a lesson. It taught me the thing to think about. It's how to escape from the society and this white noise around you, from the all social media pressure, from community pressure, from everything. Depends of the winter, it could be super quiet, no birds or any other animals. Or it could be windy and stormy and this creating white noise, which is so different than the noise of our TVs or the city noise. After a long day of exploring, I'm going to sleep early in the tent as the winter sun set earlier as well. Now it's time to talk to yourself. Thanks myself for everything I got in this life. Forgive myself for making mistakes. Say sorry for everything, whatever I didn't achieve. Because we should not blame ourselves. We just have to correct our life and fix it if you need it. The hardest part is to choosing the one thing and letting go of the rest. Realizing that life is so short can give you a panic attack. Or you can take an opportunity and use this smartly. Every moment is precious. This is me embracing my journey and cherishing the moments that truly matter for me. Not for anybody else, just for me. And I hope you will find the same things for yourself. Don't let the social media put pressure on you and your life. Truly understand who you are and who you want to be. It is what it is, and I'm who I am. This is me.
Teach me how to dream.